Hi guys, I thought I'd just talk to you about wheels on the Toyota High Aces. This is, um, mine's a four wheel drive version, a uh, Japanese version, and I've put all terrain tyres on it. So I'll just talk you through that and tyre size and stuff and offset that sort of thing. I'll just get you over to the car now and we'll check out the tyres. Quick rundown on the, these tyres that I've chose um, and the rims. So the Toyo Open Country, the 225716 and the rims are 16 inch, 8 inches wide and plus 25 offset. After all the searching on the internet and talking to people on Facebook and whatever, um, this is what I ended up running. Um, so a lot of things can change how they sit in your car. So we've got offset. So the more numbers in the positive, so this is 20, positive 25 so if it's positive 35 it'd be in that way 25 or 10 mil more if it was positive 15 it'd be out this way so negative is basically in the middle positive is back negative is forward <clears throat> now with tires all terrain tires even though the 225 70 series will be taller that way um, because they measure it from in the center of the thread the tread the actual tire height here not to the top here when they're new because so all terrain's got chunky tread and see this has got chunky tread here so the overall diameter will be bigger on an all terrain tire and if you get chunkier like the MTs, AT all terrain, MT, you've got mud terrain. There's other brands, different treads, and that sort of thing. So, the problems with these vans that we have, we've got plenty of room <coughs> this way still. You could probably go another couple, about an inch, or well, probably half an inch either way, that way. The back over here isn't a problem, we've got plenty of room there. The problem we have is these vans are made for the tradie vans pretty much and pie vans. We used to call them pie vans, they don't call them that much anymore. So the problem is the wheel wells in these, that's the wheel well inside the car, doesn't allow for much wheel that way. And because on that's on the back and the front, but on the front we have another issue because the wheels turn and they're made for skinny tires and tires that are like a standard tire is actually lower than this uh, I'm not sure how much lower it's probably like that much overall I think it was when I put one next to it something like that so when we put bigger tires even if they're like a a big rim for low profile tires you still got to worry about the actual diameter so the problem we have is when they turn like this they haven't allowed much room for bigger wheels to go in there because they probably didn't think that people are going to do this to these vans but they should pay attention to their customers and what they've been doing so what we have as far as problems go is we get scrubbage on here this tire here it just scrubs hope my I'm just doing this with my phone here, so bear with the out of focus. I'm trying to get here. So you can see on here, it's been scrubbing on here. So that's the problem with this offset. Um, you just have to belt that in. This is just a solid bit of, I'm not even, I don't even know what's behind there. I don't think there's anything critical behind there. So you, you just have to belt that back a bit. Just the bottom edge there. Down, I'm trying to point to it down here this bottom edge is where it rubs on so you just gotta like make that go back a bit and another problem we can't really see it here I'll, I'll show you when we turn the wheel so 
as this wheel gets bigger, this obviously comes out further. And when it turns, we lose the gap here that the factory had, the gap in here and it scrubs. And now with offset, it'll bring the wheel out this way if you go towards the negative more. So if you lose that, lower that positive number, it comes out this way. And it's this corner of the tire here that hits on that part inside there. So if you come out this way with like a positive 10 or 15 or whatever, um, this is gonna hit in there a bit more. It won't hit, you'll sort of get clearance behind the wheel, but you're still gonna rub that outside edge on that front there. This only does it on full lock, and usually when I'm going backwards, which is really probably, I had an old Subaru to do the same, it only, it only scrub on full lock going backwards. Um, so I'll just go and turn the wheel and I'll show you what we're talking about. Okay, so I've got the wheel turned in a bit. It's not full lock, cause it jumps back a bit once you turn the key off. So if you can see in here, got just a bit of room there I can probably I can get my fingers in there in here is that much room we got my fingers but once I turn it this edge here this tire edge will come in closer to that panel and it, it misses by a couple of mil so that's with plus 25 offset if you went plus 30 it pushes all this pushes this whole tire back that way and I think the problem is we rub down here a bit. You can see I've actually been rubbing on there a little bit there. Um, but as someone said, that's not a problem because that's like a chunky bit of steel. That's not as annoying. Um, so yeah. So I have seen guys modify this plate here. They've pulled the spot welds off and then modified it, didn't they? made it sort of pivot out that way more, if you know what I mean, to give it more clearance. So, in this van here, um, I put these wheels on when it was the stock height and it's still scrubbed and it's been lifted about two inches now. Um, and it's still it's scrubbed a little bit. Okay, so now we've talked about offset, tire, where the tires scrub and all that sort of um, annoying stuff. The last thing we talk about is the actual tire sizes. So, like a 225 70 is the 70 is the percentage of the whip. So, 70% of tip to an, um, 225 is the height of the sidewall. So, some people go, Oh, maybe if I put 215 75 tires on. It won't scrub well 215 by 75 it's still 75 percent of the width but the size of the width of the tires hasn't gone down that five percent if you know what i mean so it's actually gone up so the actual 75 series tire will be taller so you still got the same problem our problem here is height on these vans it's not so much tire width you can get into tire width when you go kind of crazy and go two four fives I have seen two, three, fives, but those guys haven't had an issue with attacking their vans with hammers and that sort of thing. Um, has under there, like that's nothing for me to just bang that out of the road. Like I've drilled holes inside, in the back of the van for fitting it out. So a little bit of tapping there won't go astray. And I think I'd rather get a wider tire on there and get a, get a bit more beach performance on it than um, have skinnier tyres and sort of get stuck and the wire tyre looks looks better anyway the only downside I found about this setup is if you can see down here maybe is the tyre sticks out a bit um, that's just cause of the offset and the width of the tyre but I'm going to run some flares on this the tread still sits inside the mud guard inside the, the actual body it's just a sideball but I've always, as I said, I've always wanted to put flares on it, so um, that's not an issue. 
the two one fives, if you still put them on the same rim, the 25, it will probably still stick out a bit. The only ones I've seen that don't stick out is when they run the positive 35 rims and they sit in. But I'm pretty sure they'd run into to problems up the front here anyway if with the two three the, the plus 35 i'm just mum i'm getting confused here with all the different sizes this is how i was when i was looking online it was driving me freaking insane trying to work out what to run and what to buy um yeah so the last downside is because we've got we have to run these size tires Everyone now is running 17s and they run big tyres on all the other four drives. So all terrain tyres, we're sort of limited to what, to what we can get. I found with the, it's more in the profile than the actual width. Um, ideally, I'd like to have went 23565 in this tyre, but they don't, I'm pretty sure they don't make it. And um, the load rating on these tyres, because this is the LT version, the load rating matches the van, so does the rim. So it gets you out of that. Uh, legal stuff that we all hate especially in New South Wales where they pick on everything if they decide to so far I've been fine anyway hope this helps um, yeah anyway they're fun to play around with these things and they're awesome to drive I've had this on the beach now and it's pretty good fun I've had it up some little bit of rough, rough trails and stuff and it's kind of fun next I'll put a locker in it and then get it a bit more crazy uh, try and find some more thicker sand and some lumpier hills and see how we go. <laughs> All right, sweet, see ya. <laughs>